Well, good morning. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses here in the forecast center with you, keeping an eye on the weather this morning. We do have a tornado warning that was just issued. This is for Caddo Parish, including near Shreveport here as we are watching a storm that is coming up uh, through the southern loop area and will be making its way really through the heart of Shreveport here probably over the next 10 to 15 minutes and we're seeing just a little bit of rotation. We've been watching that uh, closely here for the last 20 to 30 minutes or so as this storm was making its way out of DeSoto Parish, but the uh, storms that we're watching, you can see the presentation on radar. Some of those darker colors between uh, Southern Hills and the Chasewood area. If we take a closer look at that, you can see there is a uh, little bit of rotation that is being indicated by some of these storms. And so it is possible we can see maybe a very brief weak tornado spin up here uh, in the Shreveport area. And you can see that uh, area of rotation that we're watching there just crossed over the inner loop. It's going to be very close to Mansfield Road in Shreveport. So that would be making its way uh, up towards the Hollywood area and something that we will definitely have to keep an eye on here as that storm passes over the Shreveport area again over the next 10 to 15 minutes or so uh, that tornado warning is in effect until 10 a.m. this morning. So your time right now just after 930 and these storms are racing uh, to the northeast fairly quickly. But those are the areas that uh, we are going to be watching as far as the uh, potential tornado. And you can see some of the areas that are included in that tornado warning would include the downtown Shreveport area. So if you're in any of these locations, especially right here along Mansfield Road up into Hollywood, Werner Park, eventually the Allendale neighborhood and downtown Shreveport would recommend that you get to your place of safety here over the next 10 to 15 minutes. Again, we don't expect anything would be on the ground for too long here, but sometimes you can get these brief spin ups that are only on the ground for a minute or two. And even a weak tornado can have wind speeds uh, well above 80 miles per hour, so it can do some damage to trees, knock some trees over, uh, can do to damage to some roofs and stay away from windows. I would recommend as well. And if you are in downtown Shreveport, you're watching from one of the buildings here where there are multiple levels to it. The uh, best thing you can do is just get down to the lowest level. Sometimes if there's debris that is picked up by these storms, it can be lofted at the higher levels there. So important to get down to the lowest level as possible. If you're at home, uh, ideal place of safety would be an interior hallway, a closet, a bathroom, uh, something in the middle of the house, obviously that is uh, away from the outside. Want to put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. But again, our uh, potential area of rotation that we would be watching would be located uh, fairly close to the Hollywood uh, neighborhood here and eventually headed up towards Werner Park as well as downtown Shreveport. That is the only severe storm that we have uh, at the moment here. There are a couple of other storms that we were watching uh, moving out of Panola County in Texas that were exhibiting some of this rotation that could lead to a brief tornado as well. But it lo looks like that has uh, since disappeared over the last uh, 10 minutes or so, so we're less concerned about those storms. But again, the Weather Service seeing enough rotation with this uh, storm in Shreveport that did prompt the tornado warning, which again does go until 10 a.m. this morning. We should see the uh, rain continue heavy at times, at least in the Shreveport area for the next hour, but we should uh, see the rain and storm threat begin to wind down a bit as we go through the afternoon today. So we'll take a closer look at radar here. It's uh, very close to the radar site. You can see the little hole in the radar here. That is uh, where the Shreveport radar site is located over by the Shreveport Regional Airport. So sometimes when these storms are closer to the radar, it is uh, a little harder to detect where those areas of rotation uh, may be, but where the greens and the reds come together there, that's where we would have expected to see maybe a brief spin up tornado. And again, that just crossed over the southern loop and uh, is headed up towards the Hollywood neighborhood. And probably if that area of rotation holds together is probably going to cross I-20 right here between the Warner Park neighborhood as well as uh, Green as well as uh, Queensboro. Uh, and again, that uh, tornado warning in effect until 10 a.m. I would put the uh, potential location as far as that warning, probably somewhere uh, down in here close to the uh, Mansfield Road area and headed to the north, very close to uh, downtown Shreveport. So what I'll do, we actually have a camera in uh, downtown Shreveport. It's pointed to the north at the moment here, so I don't know if we'll get the best look at it, but uh, we should get a pretty good visual of this storm as it's uh, continuing to pass through. Uh, but again, that tornado warning goes for another 20 minutes or so, and if it's able to hold together and eventually uh, cross over Interstate 20, it would probably cross over the Red River, maybe somewhere close uh, to downtown Shreveport and then head into uh, 
Bowser Paris making its way into some of the, uh, the neighborhoods there in northern Bowser Paris. Don't have any hail. We don't have any uh, indications that the, the wind is very high with these storms, uh, with the exception of something did spin up there, then obviously we could we could see some higher winds with the storms there. But uh, that tornado warning um, potential tornado there would probably uh, be very close to cloning closing in on the Werner Park neighborhood now. But again, not uh, really seeing anything on radar at the moment that would indicate uh, that we have anything there at the time being. But again, please be in your safe place of safety as these storms continue through.